up everyone? This is Silver Reploid CLA. How are you guys doing YouTube? That's right. The Silver Reploid coming at you live looking fresh in the flesh on the stream on stream. And as you can see, yeah, that's right. I got a lot of facial hair on my face because I'm focused on getting this goatee grown, getting links very soon, which is probably gonna take a long time, but that is besides the point. So today I want to talk with you guys about what's been bugging my head lately. Like what's been going on around my head lately. I've been thinking about a lot of things lately. This is regarding uh, oh yeah that's right my little confession that I told you guys about on Twitter and of course a little bit on my videos that I made yesterday um, it's still in my head and I decided to share with you guys this is a uh, regarding live streaming okay so like last year I think well no not last year but this year because I recently reached 1,000 subscribers on February right and I told you guys when I reach 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel I will go ahead and start live streaming. I made a second YouTube channel and I started live streaming from there via YouTube Gaming. And I asked you guys on on one of my vlogs, like either last year or so, I don't know, but yeah, it was last year. It was last year. I asked you guys, would you want me to live stream on YouTube Gaming or Twitch? And technically, I don't remember the results to be honest, but um, I went with YouTube Gaming when I reached 1,000 subscribers. It was my plan from the very beginning, from the get-go. So it has been 10 months since I've live streamed on YouTube gaming because, well, I reached 1,000 subscribers on February and it was my plan to live stream come the time I reached 1,000 subscribers, right? And I've been live streaming a lot since then. Despite the hiatuses that I've been through, live streaming on YouTube gaming, it's been that long since I've live streamed on that website for a very long time and it just came to the point after I uploaded my live stream highlights now I've been doing a lot of high I'm live stream highlights on my channel my main channel super reploid CLE showing you guys the highlights of the live streams I have on my other YouTube channel which is streamer reploid CLE and it came to the point where people have been asking me why not live stream on Twitch and of course I've been asked the same question by many other people many other people such as uh, a YouTuber for instance because well I talked with him about it one time on Twitter about why I did not live stream on Twitch because I've been hearing a lot of stories about how Twitch streamers get swatted for those who don't know what swatting means it's where people make fake phone calls to 911 dispatcher's office some of the SWAT team and the core police officers come to the person the live streamers house just to uh, make fun of the streamer on Twitch and of course gets arrested and of course they end up having to feel either frightened or or straightforward to explain the whole story about what's been going on in their house and that means that the person who swatted the person told a lie on the told a lot to the dispatchers and stuff like that anyway long story short that's how it happened to twitch streamers who got swatted and that was why i decided to stick with youtube gaming and live stream from there instead of going on twitch.tv to live stream and i've been doing some research last year about this situation on twitch.tv where people get swatted how to get hacked blackmailed because they leave their personal information out on their streams so that people can leak them and of course some of the police officers and SWAT team to come to their home while a person is live streaming. They, don't, they have no idea what is going on whatsoever and that is how things get haywire, right? So yeah, that was why I didn't do Twitch.tv but there was a little misconception I made because well because, I, because of the fact that I decided to live stream on YouTube gaming uh, I've been seeing other things regarding Twitch.tv where people cannot actually get swatted right off the bat. That's because they give out personal information. And of course, you have to use something called the, the VPN to like protect you from people getting your IP address or your personal information and stuff like that. You have to stay protective on your YouTube stream. Now, ever since I've been live streaming on YouTube gaming, I have never give out my personal information. I tell you guys that right now. And I have never been swatted ever since. Now, <clears throat> I would... Now, if you give out your personal information, you're doomed. Because these people on the net who be live chatting on your streams, like, saying, having tons of hate regarding your uh, content and, of course, yourself, that's when they tend to, like, get your... They can easily have you targeted. And that's how they are these days. And I'm not... I don't condone that kind of stuff on my channels. Or if I have a Twitch.tv, then I don't condone that stuff as well. Not now, nor ever. 
So anyway, people have been asking me why do I not live stream on Twitch when people can easily make tons of revenue compared to how YouTube does. And yeah, that makes sense because, well, I know many YouTubers who live stream on Twitch, big YouTubers, and uh, they get paid for their live stream content that they do on Twitch.tv compared to YouTube.com. And um, yeah, Twitch seems pretty legit because, well, people can actually make it happen, like earn tons of revenue, but it's also a bit dangerous at the same time because you got these policemen and SWAT team coming over to your house. Now, SWATing is not a very legit prank. I'm telling you guys right now, for those who think SWATing is funny, you guys are insane, and I do not want to negotiate with you. So making it a long story short, in reference to the conversation I had with one YouTuber regarding the fact that I have never joined Twitch not one time yet, because, well, I've been seeing how people get SWATed and, of course, get arrested, get to explain to the police department about the whole entire situation, what this person was doing. Like, they will tell them legit that they were just live streaming. They never committed any crimes or anything like bomb threats or gun shoots and stuff like that. This is why I hate people who tend to troll one another. And by trolling, I mean in that kind of way. Not how people can like play with you when they're just kidding and stuff like that. I'm talking about troll troll, like being swatted for no good reason. And last year I showed mom the details about how people got swatted, but I did not show her the full, full details about Twitch.tv. I only showed her the swatted portion of the website, but not the whole entire website info where people can actually live stream their own gaming content and get actually paid for tons more money compared to how they do on YouTube. Because, well, I'm a YouTuber and technically I would love to live stream a lot more for you guys doing gaming content and stuff like that. And when you guys are watching this video, you're probably going to ask me, am I planning on joining Twitch.tv? Well, based on the misconception I made regarding the website, how people got swatted, when you won't get instantly swatted off the bat, you just have to keep your information private, so that way people won't blackmail you, or hack you, or have you get arrested on stream, so that the, ha so that the person who called the police for no reason can get the attention that they think that they deserve, which they do not. However, I did make a tweet asking you guys, should I live stream on Twitch.tv or should I sit with YouTube Gaming? Because Twitch seems like a legit website where you can actually live stream tons more gaming content and you have to have a schedule to where you can actually live stream. Well, for one thing, I'm in college still. So if I don't have much to do, I'll always live stream on Friday night. But for this schedule right here, if I were to make a Twitch.tv channel, I would like live stream like any time possible. Like, Anytime, whatever time I have possible, so that way I can keep the schedule rolling and stuff like that. Because, well, I love video games, I love live streaming, I love doing online jumps such as YouTube or basically Twitch.tv. I love doing stuff like that because, well, people can actually make a living off of making money off of online jobs such as YouTube. Because I've been doing this for a long time, and let's just say I had three paychecks this year. Now, I'm not going to tell you how much I've earned, I'm just telling you something because. For those who think that YouTube is not a job, it basically is. Because, well, even though sometimes your paycheck comes at a slow rate, you have to work hard so that we, when you reach a payment threshold very quickly, yeah, you may think that you get it each month, but it depends on the payment threshold that you have reached so far. But regardless, the other day I made a tweet asking you guys to want me to live stream on Twitch someday. I'm going to add the link of the tweet in the description so that way uh, you guys can submit your answers to me, like vote and submit your answers to me. And I'll come to the uh, point where I make a decision regarding whether or not I will be planning on streaming on Twitch. So, but for real though, Twitch.tv seems like a legit website, but all these dangers that people have been facing so far, they just need to keep their information private and don't leak out their information like their address, their phone numbers, this, that, and the other. So that way they will not get messed up by the police or SWAT team. So somewhere around Christmas day, I'll come up with a decision, a very good decision. So. Uh, make sure you head to the tweet below in the video where I ask you guys the question about me live streaming on Twitch.tv. And my sister heard about Twitch.tv, needless to say. And of course, my brother in law knows about Twitch.tv, needless to say. So, yeah, I might think about doing Twitch for you guys. So that way I can keep the pace rolling at a very moderate rate. Well, not basically moderate, but more than just moderate, you know? <laughs> so yes, once again, I say Twitch.tv is a very legitimate website, and yes, I have a head full of hair again, once again. It's been a long time since you guys see me like this, or I don't know, and of course, this much hair on my chin and my face, my sideburns and stuff like that, but that's gonna be 
resolved very, very soon. Because I'm still focused on giving me a goatee, even though I love being bald sometimes. <laughs> well, not sometimes, but all the time, because I don't like having much hair on me. Despite being a cosplayer, even though I'm not a legit cosplayer, despite me cosplaying as Jenkins right at the Pokecon. I mean, you know, let me just scratch all that stuff. Let's, ju let's just uh, get to the point. Okay, once again, the tweet of my question regarding Twitch.tv is in the description, so make sure you head there. If you have a Twitter, if not, then that's fine. So head there. If you have a Twitter, head to the link in the description. The tweet where I ask you guys, do you want me to live stream on Twitch.tv or should I stick with YouTube Gaming? I'm thinking about doing both, maybe. I don't know, but if you think I should live stream on Twitch.tv, hit the like button and, of course, catch your votes in the tweet in the description. And on Christmas Day, I have a very excellent decision made. Think of it as a Christmas present from me to you guys because you guys are my awesome fans. You guys have been there for me for a very, very long time. And yes, it is high time I take things to the next level. Now, I have been seeing a lot of basic tutorials on how to get set up with Twitch.tv, like the equipment that you need, engaging in your audience, having the cup or bottle of water by you in case you need some more energy to like talk a lot more because you want to engage your audience a lot. Now, trust me, I've been looking at a few videos, tutorials on how to be a great Twitch streamer, and that's exactly what I'm intending to do very soon come Christmas Day. So please head to the tweet below, catch your votes, and let's just say that I'm very lucky to have equipment such as the headset. Now, I'm still planning on getting a mic very soon. Uh, I'll let you guys know when, but uh, I'm still planning on getting a mic soon. Plus, I have my headset, I have my webcam, I have my PC controller, I have my PC keyboard, my gaming keyboard, and of course, I have my mouse, and I also have this, my capture card. All I need now is a different kind of HD TV, so that way I can like hook up my capture card and you know go from there. When I have a console and stuff like that, I'll get it to set up right away, and of course, I'll do some probably do some live streams on some games on TV, and you know. I just love live streaming and gaming to the fullest because you guys love that kind of activity, so that's why I do it. I might not be the best nor legit streamer, not fully perfect streamer, but yeah, no matter the quality, you're still great. That's how I feel about people who are trying to do something that they dream of doing. Like I myself dream of doing a lot of work for you guys on YouTube and possibly Twitch. Because, well, I want to be big like many people on YouTube. I've been saying that a lot of times to many people and, of course, to many YouTubers that I know on Twitter and, of course, my actual YouTube channel. I be telling them that I want to grow big and it'll get there at some point, Red Plus. We're going to grow big someday, so trust me. So, yes, long story short, that's my confession. I had a misconception regarding Twitch.tv. It's not about just the swatting. It's just about live streaming, having fun, playing tons of video games, get paid, engage your audience, grow big. Let people notice you, get to know you more, and stuff like that. And that is what it takes to become a very great Twitch.tv live streamer. Okay, reports. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Nothing urgent to do today. I just uh, decided to talk to you guys about my confession that I made the other day regarding my thoughts about Twitch.tv, even though I thought about it just as swatting, not just... It's not all about swatting, but you have to be very, very careful on what you do. For those who are live streaming on Twitch still, please be careful on what you do. Do not look at your personal information. Do not let people swat you. Do not let people get you in emotional distress because, heck, I don't even want to get in emotional distress because, well, I'm a very sensitive person and everyone is sensitive, so I shouldn't judge myself too wrongly. So, yes, everyone is sensitive about how they feel about certain situations such as that. They feel friend. They feel ticked off and stuff like that. Now, I did not want to end up having a heart attack or something like that. Sorry if I said that, but I just don't want it to come to that point, Reploid. So, yeah. Once again, head to the tweet below where I ask you guys a question about my thoughts about joining Twitch.tv so I can do some live streams for you guys, like doing some uh, gaming content on either on TV or on PC, depending on the quality. So, yeah, I should be good with the quality and stuff. I just got to make sure I have everything set up correctly. So that way, if I do live stream on Twitch.tv, I will um, play the games for you guys now. Just one game, as I heard from one basic tutorial on how to be a Twitch streamer and stuff like that. And just, you know, go from there. Have fun. That's what I love to do. Also, one more thing. Before I leave this video, I want to take the time to say congratulations, Miku Fan 3000, for reaching 3,000 YouTube Miku fans or subscribers. He recently told me about it earlier today that he reached 3,000 subscribers and the fact that he named his channel Miku Fan 3000. If he reached 4,000, well, it doesn't matter. He's still on 3,000 subscribers, but. 
that just have an identical match. And with that being said, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video to the fullest. Uh, my confession regarding Twitch.tv. Um, if I do join Twitch.tv, that means I'm gonna have to make a new overlay. So that'll be done very soon if I join the system or not. I don't know, but if I do, then that's great, and I'll just make the new overlay if I need to. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more content. Make sure you follow my social media in the description. Don't forget to join my community description. Make sure you care. Also, don't forget to head to the tweets and cash your votes. Like, comment, favorite. More videos to come soon. This is Super Red Plot CLE. I love your reports to the fullest, and I'll see you guys in the next video.